All right, let's see. At this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and do one little thing. Right now, the metal stuff isn't really coming through as much as I'd like it to. So I'm going to add a levels modifier here to the top of the, the paint stack. And I'll just hit Alt and click on the mask so we can, we can see what's going on. As I grab this uh, little arrow thing there and move it up, you can see how much more, uh, how much darker and more contrasty this is getting. And that's sort of how it looks in the uh, in the material. So it's getting a little bit patterny here. I'm actually gonna roll over to the paint, uh, grab one of these dirts. We'll be painting painting white in, I think. Yeah. And I'm just going to sort of come in and break it up a little bit so it's not quite so regular. You would expect to see, I think, a little bit more edge wear kind of towards the front, maybe along the top, that top surface there. Something subtle. Just little hits here and there. And I'm seeing something similar happening in the surface detail there's like a sort of a dark blotch and then a light blotch and dark blotch. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's happening here in the variation. So I'm going to modify the UV scale just a little bit. Try to get that looking a little bit different. And I think really only did that one. So, okay. Uh, let's see. Now I want to go ahead and maybe modify the overall gloss value on this paint just to just to punch it up a little bit the uh, shinier it is the more when the light hits it will it become shinier even still so we just get a little bit more more hot stuff that might be too much because the next thing that I want to throw in there is going to be some oil and that's going to be really really shiny so maybe something like that and speaking of oil let's go ahead and make a new fill layer and uh, this is not going to be sitting in any of the existing folders. It's it's kind of its own thing. Uh, because I wanted to go across the surface here, both these surfaces, the, the slide and the grip. So we'll make it black. And then uh, is not metallic, doesn't need any normal or height information. Uh, but the roughness, it's very shiny. So I'll go ahead and uh, add a black mask. And then... Grab the mold, just shrink it down a little bit. And I want to make a straight line all the way across this edge here. So I'm going to click with the uh, left mouse button, hold shift, release the mouse button, and then click again where I want it to kind of show up. And then maybe I'll just grab another, another brush here, basically do the same thing. So obviously that is probably more than I need. And now I want to just come in and paint it out. And it can be a little bit tricky to see exactly where it is. Because if the light's not hitting it, it doesn't really show up. And you definitely don't want it everywhere. But a little bit can go a long way. You can just imagine this gun's been used for a while. It's not particularly well tended to. Perhaps you would get some some kind of build up like that. And then I'm going to grab one more brush. This dirt brush here is pretty good. And I'm going to use this to just add a little bit of some little hits here and there. That same stuff. I'm well, probably not up there. And then we'll just paint it back. All right. So now that we got a little oil on there. Let's let's play with some rust. Most guns are not rusty, but we can throw a little something on there just to add a little a little interest. So I'm just going to do a search for rust. You can see there's a bunch of them, and I'm just going to grab the the regular old rust here, and it's going to go right up top. And it's going to have a little bit of height information that we don't actually want. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And uh, the rest of the stuff is going to be just fine. 
we'll add a black mask and I'm going to go to the smart masks. So in here, these are pretty great. I don't think I've used one in this tutorial yet, but you can basically just kind of, we got one called cavity rust here, drag and drop. Now we don't actually want it to be rusty unless it is metal. So I'm, I'm actually going to drag this down inside the slide. Try to get up to the top there. And then we can grab this mask editor. And if we expose the curvature stuff, we'll see a little bit of a different way of interfacing with the curvature that can in some ways be a little bit more intuitive. If I reduce these down, you can see it gets thinner and thinner. So if you just want a little bit sort of here and there, this can be a really nice way to make that happen. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. So I'm going to add a paint which will give me the ability to paint some of this stuff out. So I'll go to brushes and then dirt. Make sure we're painting, uh, not roughness. Right, okay, so it still thinks we're painting. Let me double check I'm on the, on the, the uh, mask there. All right. So indefinitely you wanna watch out for that kind of stuff where there's just where it's just obviously been grabbed by the some kind of a curvature algorithm. All right, probably clean it up there a little bit too. And now let's throw just a little bit of dirt on there. And this will be like a kind of a dust layer or something. I'm not sure if there's a Oops, not the greatest spelling I've ever done. Also, it's in the wrong place. I need to go to materials and dirt. Let's try dust. Not so much. Okay, we'll just make one. So for the color, we want something pretty dark. Dark and earthy. And uh, it's gonna be no metal. We'll leave the rough on, no normal, no height for the roughness, gonna be completely rough. And uh, we'll add a black mask. And in the next tutorial, we will go ahead and uh, get that dialed in and then also take a look at how to uh, put the, the lens texture on there and a little bit of a decal.